I'm not usually the kind of person that looks backwards, but something has been bugging me. Could I have been wrong? Hello. I found the resurrection of Honda's Transalp to be a little disappointing. After the review, the bike simply disappeared off my radar. Until recently. Now that the earth has settled, I'm starting to think I gave the bike a bit of a hard time. You can watch the review up here somewhere. Firstly, I think we've got to try and define what adventure riding is. And this is where things get a bit blurry. We're all fed this epic marketing footage of athletes taking matters to the absolute extreme. But in reality, that's not most of us or any of us. To me, adventure riding means you can load up your bike, travel in comfort at speed across countries, tackle some gravel trails, dusty tracks and the odd splash. After you've dropped your bike a few times, you've got to thrash it back, only to be the last passenger to board the ferry. Does that sound familiar? <laughs> you may remember we bumped into a two-wheel freak in Scotland. Alan owns a Honda Transalp and his enthusiasm for the bike kind of got me thinking. Fancy bringing your bike down here for a laugh. That was quick. After some tyre kicking and fiddling, I am starting to come round to the Honda. However, I do agree that some of my original criticisms are still valid, if not quite as pivotal. For example, that oil sump is still a concern. But it has been pointed out by Mr Dork in the road that it's not hugely different to that of Yamaha's T7. Perhaps if the Alp came with a skid plate as standard, we might have not even noticed. Either way, quality protection is essential on any adventure bike and it should look after you if you pick your battles. Now, I did also complain at the geometry. I can't help thinking you sit in the bike and not on it. Now, I have spider-like legs, so I could probably do with a taller seat Take a wild guess what accessory Honda don't supply. A lower seat, yes. Taller seat, you shit out of luck. I did grumble about the road sink system. At the time, that wretched arrow would only ever point straight ahead. But there has been a software update and now you've got turn by turn instructions. But I don't like this Bluetooth earpiece thing anyway, so I'll just stick to a phone mount. Suspension is too soft, but the bike has been built to a price point. I don't find it terrible, but it is a little bouncy. So was I wrong? <laughs> well, it's looking that way, isn't it? <laughs> I do think a lot of my criticisms and observations may have been overly harsh. The bike does not wear the CRF label. But oddly, some adventure riders are showing us now the bike is a lot more capable than I originally thought. Damien at ADV Life has taken two Transalps across the Australian outback. And I think he sums things up very well. Adventure tourers are the Swiss army knives of motorcycles and they must serve many masters from the city commuter, the freeway traveller and the adventurer. Their versatility must be matched by durability and that's how legends are made. 
just like it was with the original Trans Alp. Honda may have lost the core Trans Alp thread somewhere along the way, but it's found it again. Welcome back Trans Alp. We missed you. There are links to all the contributions to this video in the description. I would encourage you to check them out. I would be more than happy to take a Trans Alp back to Spain. I would love to ride it to Sad Hill Cemetery on those dusty tracks, to the empty Tabernas Desert and return to the Gorafe Ridges. If you haven't seen our big bike adventure through Spain then check out this link somewhere. It's a bit of fun. So really it's all down to the definition of adventure motorcycling and only you can answer that. Would I have a Transalp? At the time I said I would not, but after spending a day with Mr Two Wheel Freak and watching what you guys are getting up to, perhaps at the right price at the right time, I would. Now this could be a good time to subscribe to this channel, I don't think this story is finished just yet. The big Winter motorcycle shows are about to kick off and rumours are sky high that Honda will update the Transalp. We will be gifted cruise control, tubeless rims, a better electronics package and there's even dark rumours of a rally version. If any of that happened it would be a real game changer so the story may not be over just yet. Part of me thinks none of this will happen because there needs to be a significant difference between the Transalp and the flagship adventure bike the Africa Twin. There's got to be a reason at dealer showroom floors to upsell customers to their premier twin. But I've been wrong before, let's see what happens. <laughs> before I go I'll leave you with footage of another athlete, this time showing us what a Transalp can really do. That's Kyrian Mirabet showing us we all know nothing. Youth is very much wasted on the young. My thanks to everybody who's contributed to this video, especially to Steve and Alan who made it possible. My thanks to you for watching, I appreciate your company. Ah, oh, countryside, flies, flies, lovely, yep, yep, off, bloody flies, shove them up your arse.